everybody welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a DIY ombre pom pom garland maker yarn and sorry if it's a bit um, difficult to see what I'm doing sometimes it's very difficult to film DIYs on your own so just kind of bear with also if you know any places where I can get copyright free music, that would be really great because I'm looking for some. So let's just hop right into it. Right, so what you'll need is three different colours of a yarn of your choice. So I'm using like these sort of bluey green colours. And you'll also need some small, very sharp scissors and a circle template and a pencil and some bulldog clips or you know binder clips whatever you call them and you'll also need some bigger scissors and a piece of cardboard so what you're going to do is you're going to draw around your template which I just cut out some circles which had loads of circles inside it and you want a big circle with a little circle cut out the side. So you're just going to draw around that and then cut it out. And you're going to need to do two of these, so just bear that in mind. So I'm just cutting that out. Now, once you've done that, you want to cut a slit into it because you need a slit to get the wool through when you're winding it around. And also you can cut out the centre on more easily, so I'm just doing that. Up to you how big you make this, but I made mine quite small. Now I'm just going to cut out the centre of it. And you will have one of your two templates. Now this bit I kind of did a little bit wrong. Now what you're going to do is if it's still for a pom pom then you just go ahead and get a piece of, cut a piece of string and just wrap it around and sandwich it in between the two templates, uh, two cardboard discs. But um, I sort of, what you're going to do, I'm sort of showing you what I'm doing if you had the, already started it. So you want to tie the new piece of string around the sort of middle of the last piece of string and then you're going to put them both inside of the uh, lay them on both on top of the first disc with both coming out now here I did it wrong but what you want is both of them coming out so you should have three strings coming from the centre. Now I'm going to use a bundle clip to just clip those into place. Just to keep them there. Come on, honey. And then I'm going to go ahead and take a new piece of my ball of yarn and just Tie that onto the um, disc, two discs, um, and yeah, just to keep it secure. It doesn't have to be like perfect or anything. And then you're just going to start wrapping the wool around the disc. It can be quite tricky and you can get a little bit tangled, but you just have to persevere with it. And it's quite a tedious process. Now, I wrap mine about three times over so you want to get something that looks a little bit like this making sure there aren't any gaps and the more you wrap the fuller the pom pom will be so it's really up to you but I went back and forth about three times over the disc so you just keep wrapping twisting and then once you've done that you're going to go ahead and cut the piece of yarn that you've been wrapping with. Now I would recommend keeping the yarn on the ball because you don't really know how much you're going to use but anyway just go ahead and cut that 
and then you're going to take those scissors, the little sharp ones, and you're going to place them in between the two cardboards and just cut round it. And this can be quite difficult, um, try and cut, so that's why you really need some sharp sort of little sewing scissors because it will make a much nicer cut. I'm just going to do that. Making sure you kind of keep hold of the yarn, otherwise it will go everywhere. Hopefully you can kind of see what I'm doing. Um, I'm sorry, I'm really bad at filming these DIYs and editing them and things, but hopefully I'll get a bit better with some practice, so. And you can kind of see what's going on. Now obviously you don't have to do ombre, you can do whatever colours, you can keep the same colour. You could mix and match, you could do on one pom pom, you could layer up the colours. Something. Now once you've done that, you're going to take the strings from the centre, which is sort of dangling on the end, and just pull it tight and tie it. You sort of want to tie it and sort of pull it out of the cardboard discs at the same time. Try not to sort of lose any pieces, but you might have a couple that sort of fall out. And then just tie it really tight and fluff up the pom-pom, and you've basically kind of got yourself a part of the pom-pom garland and because you've tied the last string onto it it should you know string on into a garland form and then you just repeat this in all your other colours until you have your garland formed so that's what the pom-pom looks like I just like to double knot it And there you go, there's another view, pom pom. So thanks for watching everybody, I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave any questions below, I don't know how well I managed to explain it, but hopefully you kind of got the gist of it. There's lots of pom pom making tutorials on YouTube, so if you need any more help then it might be worth looking them up. But this was just a little idea that I thought was great for room decoration, you could put it around the head of your bed, or, you know, you like me, your window. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.